In this video, we're gonna discuss Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, two similar platforms that are integrated in the newer cars. One is made by Apple, which is the Apple CarPlay and Google made Android Auto. Those are uh, software platforms and they allow drivers to uh, connect uh, the phone to the car infotaining system. It's like projecting a few uh, useful apps that can uh, be a uh, uh, used uh, with the uh, voice commands or uh, minimal touch uh, interactions with the screen. Those are designed for uh, uh, the drivers to uh, send text messages, uh, uh, use the maps uh, in an efficient way while driving and keeping everyone safe on the road. Now both platforms have their own limitations such as not being able to watch YouTube or uh, play uh, movies or watch Netflix or anything like that that will distract the driver and it's understandable but there is a workaround how to uh, have YouTube uh, playing uh, on Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. I made a video about this so I'm gonna include the video in this uh, video description down below. Check it out if you are interested. Now you may consider watching this video if you are interested interested to uh, uh, switch phones from iOS to Android or Android to iOS, you will see what advantages and disadvantages you will uh, have when uh, using those uh, uh, platforms. And now it's time to dive right into uh, the testing, we'll see which one is the best. So at the first impression they both look uh, similar, they both have a split uh, screen uh, app feature, especially Android Auto got uh, an update, uh, the cool walk, so it will uh, be very similar to Apple Car play now on the uh, uh, Apple CarPlay uh, in order to get to the apps you can either press that uh, home button on the left side or swipe right to get to the uh, apps uh, on the other side on uh, Android Auto you can either press the button um, actually that's only pressing the button will take you to the apps so um, another uh, cool interesting uh, feature that they uh, added on the uh, Android Auto would be that uh, Google Assistant uh, microphone uh, button that will be on the sidebar all the time. So that's a plus for Android Auto, that way you don't have to uh, hunt for uh, that button, it will always be on the sidebar no matter which app you're gonna use. Now if we look at the uh, uh, directions here, it's uh, easier to uh, access or uh, get direction on the uh, Android Arrow then it's on the Apple CarPlay as you can see on the Android Arrow we have a suggestion on the right side with the re recent places where on Apple CarPlay it doesn't uh, really uh, show uh, anything so you kind of have to uh, hunt for uh, for the directions so that's another plus for Android Arrow that uh, makes it a uh, more uh, convenient and quicker and a safer way to uh, choose directions while driving now if you were wondering about ways uh, it's a popular uh, navigation app. It's available on both uh, platforms and both support a split screen feature. So as we can see, we're going to set here uh, the uh, directions so you can see how uh, it looks uh, next to uh, uh, each other. I really like the layout on the uh, Apple CarPlay just because uh, it seems like it, the interface is more uh, polished than on Android Auto. Uh, they uh, idolizing the uh, right uh, upper side on the uh, car play to show you where to turn uh, versus on uh, Android Auto where it shows and kind of cuts through the map and you will have a less uh, visibility ahead of you. So uh, as you can see, even though the Waze app shows wider, it's uh, more convenient and easier to read uh, all the details on the Apple CarPlay. So Apple CarPlay... Uh, gets a plus for that in this uh, layout uh, organizing. In the next uh, upcoming test we'll do a quick responsiveness test through the apps and as you can see they are both uh, feeling uh, similar to each other. Now in terms of uh, setting a wallpaper they both allow that but they only uh, provide a few options you can really uh, uh, set your uh, own wallpaper uh, like on a custom photo or anything like that that's uh, a feature that I would like to see in the future but they both lack that feature unfortunately. Now we'll see how a text message is received on both uh, platforms and which one it's easier to use in terms of replying or send a new text message and we'll start with Apple CarPlay as we can see we get a banner notification on the bottom side screen. I simplified text said bring my keys please. Would you like to reply? As we can see, the Siri is reading the message uh, and gives you an opportunity to uh, reply. 
pretty similar on Android Auto, the uh, banner notification will be on top and they give you an option to uh, actually uh, ignore the text message if you want, like a uh, do not disturb feature, you can uh, tap on that uh, bell and that will uh, prevent it from distracting you from whatever you're doing, uh, navigating or uh, whatever you do in the car. So we'll see uh, what options Android Auto will uh, give us when um, tapping on the uh, notification. I will. Do you want to reply? So very similar to the uh, Apple CarPlay, it will, uh, it will uh, give us an uh, opportunity to uh, send a voice text message as a replay without really interacting with the screen or touching anything. Uh, but also I like that it gives you a, a preset replies. It's kind of a predictive uh, reply that you can use. So I like that feature. The only downside is that you have to interact with the screen and uh, tap on it, but um, that is pretty cool. Now moving to the text messaging uh, app, uh, we see on the Apple CarPlay we have a list with the contacts, the most recent contacts that send us a text message. On the other side, on the Android Arrow, we have a list as well, contact photo of the person who sent you a text and also it will show you uh, the actual text that was received so you can read it. Uh, on the other side, on the Apple CarPlay, you have to tap on the uh, text message and Siri will read you the text message. Um, that's the only way to see what uh, the other person sent you. On the Android Auto, you can see what text message was sent. And also, again, it gives you that preset words that you could uh, reply with. That's pretty cool. I would say uh, Android Auto wins uh, another point for, uh, for that. Now moving on to the uh, phone uh, call layout of uh, both uh, systems. And this is gonna be a big one because uh, Apple CarPlay here uh, has uh, an issue with this and the issue is it takes over the screen and it can be really difficult to uh, watch uh, the uh, navigations app if you are in that situation on the other side on android arrow you can see uh, you can still uh, watch uh, uh, the navigation app you still have that uh, option it doesn't really take over uh, the screen it's like a banner style uh, phone call which i like another uh, point for android arrow in uh, in this situation now the uh, phone app uh, seems uh, pretty similar as we can see the contacts on uh, on the uh, Android Arrow have a profile a photo so that's a nice touch keypad looks uh, similar there is voicemail as well and um, and as you can see on Apple CarPlay I had to uh, press a couple of times the home button to actually take me to the navigation button on the main screen where I uh, was before that's a minus because it makes the driver interact multiple times with the screen. But on the other side, the uh, Android Auto took me uh, straight to the uh, uh, main screen, which uh, was uh, very uh, quick and efficient. Now here on the split screen, they are both uh, showing uh, the same, uh, same layout. We have a profile photo uh, there of the contact who are uh, talking to. We are uh, also having the uh, option to mute the uh, conversation so they are both uh, similar in terms of uh, making a phone call and interacting with the phone call it's just that Apple CarPlay required more uh, interaction with the screen now a big disadvantage of Android Auto and this can be a deal breaker for uh, some people is that you won't uh, be able to uh, type or pull up the maps and type an address on the phone as long as the uh, phone is connected to a uh, Android Arrow you will have to type the address before connecting uh, to the car which sometimes can be really inconvenient so uh, that's uh, uh, valid for Google Maps Waze uh, on the other side Apple CarPlay will uh, just allow users to uh, type on the phone which sometimes it's more convenient to type on the phone than on the uh, car screen because the phone we all know it's more uh, responsive and more efficient now in the next test we're gonna do some uh, voice commands and see how Siri and Google Assistant will uh, handle our uh, requests convert a hundred US dollars in wo Korean won one hundred dollars is one hundred thirty thousand seven hundred twenty seven South Korean won Convert $100 in Korean won. $100 is approximately 130,760 Korean won. Can you schedule an appointment for tonight at 7 p.m.? I scheduled your appointment for today from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. 
Not sure if you noticed, but Apple CarPlay just created another window on the bottom uh, right side with uh, any upcoming events. So that's a, a plus for Apple CarPlay. Schedule an appointment for tonight at 7 p.m. What's the title of the event? Meeting with friends. All right, meeting with friends today at 7 p.m. Do you want to save that? Yes, please. Okay, I added it. Droid Arrow made it a little bit more difficult to set up an event. He was asking for the title of the event. And even after that, he was not showing anything on the screen, like uh, visual uh, information about that. Take me to the nearest Cheesecake Factory. Getting directions to the Cheesecake Factory. Starting route to the Cheesecake Factory. Take me to the nearest Cheesecake Factory. Okay, the Cheesecake Factory. Here we go. As we saw, both platforms have their own uh, pros and cons. Uh, the main difference is that Apple uh, CarPlay has a little bit more uh, of a polished uh, user uh, interface. Uh, everything is more organized. On uh, the other side, on the uh, Android RO, uh, it's a pretty solid uh, system with a new uh, cool walk update. I really like uh, some of the features such as uh, text messaging in terms of uh, replying with uh, preset uh, messages. That is uh, pretty interesting. I would like to see that on uh, Apple uh, CarPlay as well. But I would say Android RO is more uh, polished in terms of interacting with the screen. It's uh, more uh, designed in an efficient way to get wherever you have to uh, get without having too many interactions uh, with the uh, car screen. So this is it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, uh, please click like and subscribe for more uh, similar content. And I will see you in the next video.